Cameron for Tweak Time. Uh, we've got another video here for you from Computex Taipei 2012. We're here with George from Corsair, and uh, he's going to tell us about uh, the special new power supply that they've got coming up real soon. Okay, George, what have you got to show us? We've got a new power supply, the uh, successor to the AX1200. It's called the AX1200i. Uh, it's still a 1200 watt power supply. It is platinum rated, uh, 80 plus platinum. It's also Corsair Link integrated. But the real story is it's actually our first fully digital power supply. And by that I mean that there's a, a digitally controlled power. There's a DSP, a digital signal processor, inside the power supply that controls the power delivery. Uh, it helps with things like voltage regulation. It helps with component count so you can increase efficiency and avoid kind of some ripple and noise effects. Um, but realistically, it can do some really intelligent things and we can monitor. So. We've talked about Corsair Link before. This is the beta of our Corsair Link 2 software. Uh, it still has a great functionality where you can kind of drag and drop the different temperature zones. But it also has a power tab where you can actually monitor the real-time power in and power out of your power supply mm -hmm. and monitor its actual efficiency. Right now our power supply is running at about 170 watts or so of uh, power output. Um, depending on what's going on and it dips up and down a little bit. This is a beta software and we're about 99% complete. So really what we're doing right now is just tweaking the accuracy at low loads. Um, it also has the ability to set over current protection individually. So you can choose a single rail, which is the default mode, or you can go to multi-rail and set separate over current protection points on all the different 12 volt outputs for your PCI Express connectors. So if you want to set a uh, multi-rail mode for whatever reason, you can set that and you can actually adjust on it with a slider here, you can adjust the overcurrent protection point from you know 20 amps all the way up to 40 amps. Um, like I said, this is a beta software, so that's not uh, fully implemented. It goes down to zero, which we obviously wouldn't leave in the final version. Yeah. You can set the fan profile. Uh, default mode for fan profile is a uh, quiet mode, but you can set it to if you want to use it as a case exhaust. You can set it to turbo mode, uh, performance mode, fixed RPM any number of different settings. Well, George, one, one question for you. Sure. Does, this, does the fan on this power supply always spin? Or? No, it's like uh, one of the most popular uh, things we've noticed with our AX650, 750, and 850 was the, uh, the kind of fanless mode operation at lower loads. So what we've done is all our new power supplies, including the new GS, uh, the new AX here, and the new HX that we're announcing, the gold upgrade, uh, have fanless operation at very low loads. So this one actually uh, will be fanless up to around 40% of the power load. So up to 400 to 500 watts, it can operate without a fan, depending on the temperature of the ambient air it's getting in. But in a reasonable environment, that's about accurate. So you can actually operate fanlessly, completely silently, up to 400, 500 watts, which, as you can see here, we're uh, idling at 160 watts and uh, the fan isn't even spinning up at all. Yes. So one of the things we can also do, we can monitor internal temperature. We can actually monitor the separate voltage regulation. Um, one of the interesting cool things about this is when you do voltage regulation normally, the power supply kind of has to anticipate when the load is going to happen, what the drop over the length of the cable is, and then kind of peak and, and uh, take care of that more, uh, analog. This is a digital power supply, so we know how long the cables are. We know what the voltage drop across that kind of wire is. We can adjust the power delivery digitally, so voltage regulation is extraordinarily tight. Yeah. Um, but if, if you want to see, like we just run Fermark, just to show real quick. We can do a burn-in test, and this will stress the GPUs. So if you look at this, now we're up to close to 300 watts output. And uh, the efficiency obviously is not really going to be 100% or 80%. It's actually a platinum certified product. But like I said, we're, we're, uh, we're tweaking the uh, reporting on this right now. This is only a bit beta software at this yeah, stage. It is beta, but this yeah. is a, it, it is pretty accurate. This technology is used in high-end servers, in data centers a lot. They want to make sure they know exactly what kind of power loads each specific system is using. Mm -hmm. So this technology exists in you know, very, very high-end system setups. But this is the first time the digital platform has been brought down to kind of the consumer the consumer, level. consumer enthusiast level. Yeah. Okay, now just to finish, George, mm -hmm. uh, the AX 1200i. When when will people be able to buy that? It'll product? be on shelves in uh, late July, early August time frame. For okay, sure. thank you, George, for your time. No problem. Welcome. And yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, looking at the Corsair AX 1200i, uh, digitally digitally controlled power supply. It looks really good, and we look forward to testing right it soon. Here,